When it comes to, to role-playing games for this console generation, uh, Mass Effect 1 is still, for, is still one of the absolute, if not the best role-playing game released so far. Yeah. Uh, from the guys at Bioware, mm -hmm. they had a long history of making yeah, good, good role-playing games. I would actually go as far as to say that it's one of the best role-playing games, period. Yeah, absolutely. About the, the, the brave Commander Shepard's war against the Geth and the Reapers. I was going to wipe out the galaxy. And now, finally, we're here today to talk about the game that we've been waiting for ever since. Yeah. Mass Effect 2. Yeah, uh, Mass Effect 2, again, from Bioware. And, and the th second game, of course, of, of, uh, of a trilogy, uh, what's supposed to be a trilogy, uh, even for this generation of consoles. And, I mean, we've pretty much been waiting for it ever since the first game ended. Um, and, and in short, it's more or less the game I was hoping it would be. Yeah, absolutely. But this, this time around, uh, let's not spoil the ending of Mass Effect 1, because if you haven't played it yet, you really should. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's say it's a more or less direct continuation of the events that transpired towards the end of, of Mass Effect 1. And uh, Commander Shepard is back, and uh, he, he or she goes through one of the most intense first couple of minutes in a game ever it, it's 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 the sort of game that just like a game like half-life 2 for instance it's so hard to talk about it without spoiling the story and and just small parts of the story which for fans of the series of course is just groundbreaking stuff i mean again without going into spoiler territory just the first 10 minutes will blow every person who, who completed the first game will just blow him completely away. Yeah. It's, it's not only uh, insanely cool done, it's also just a major plot twist. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it just keeps on going from there. Yeah. Compare that to the first game, which, which in the beginning was kind of slow, that you walked around in the Normandy and then, oh, you had a meeting. Oh. Yeah. Comparing Mass Effect 2 to Mass Effect 1, because at the basis of, of the game system and the game mechanics, it's kind of the same game. But it's really not. In, in, in my written review, I, I really thought long and hard about how to convey how much has happened to Mass Effect between the two games. And, and I ended up, uh, rather unoriginal, uh, writing it as it seems like Bioware has, has just shifted consoles, the two games between. Because technic wise, I mean, this is a whole new game. Yeah. Uh, one of the reasons why I really didn't like uh, the first Mass Effect on 360 and, and ended up playing on, on PC was just the, the massive frame rate uh, problems. And I mean, the frame rate in the sequel is locked at 30, and I believe it sometimes goes uh, over that, which just secures smooth play throughout. That combined with a, a graphics that are just so much better uh, than in the first game. I mean. Yeah, and the, and the great thing is, I, I, I thought about the, the, the better graphics is that I went back and played the first one again, and I'm just going through my mm. third playthrough. And, and the graphics are so much better in the second one, but at the same time, the art style was so good in the first one yeah. that, that I didn't really realize how much better it looks now um, until I'd seen the first one again. Yeah, Because yeah. the first one looked good. Yeah, the first one definitely looked good, but the thing about it, uh, about the graphics also is that of course, when it comes to the action parts, the mini fights, you really, really feel that this is a company that has had time to, to find, finally tune the, 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 the engine they're using, I believe it's the Unreal Engine. Um, and that also sets, uh, that also uh, lets itself be felt on the gameplay, because the fights themselves are just, I mean, we talked about it, and this more or less is Gears of War tactics. Yeah. You still have the ability to force uh, the, the battlefield and, and use your biotics and, and everything and just giving out orders and just completely at the same time resuming and, and, and just firing away. And whereas in the first game, it, it more or less felt like die was still being rolled in the background somewhere and, and you could just hear, hear um, all, all the role players really enjoying it. But this time it really feels like a pure action game. and. To me, that's just completely amazing that they have been able to, to, to pull it off. Yeah, while, while they're doing this, when they're making the, the combat so much better, it's still kind of the same, it's still kind of the same combat in the sense that it's 
if you've played through the first one, uh, you'll be ready for it. You'll know how yeah. it works, more or less. Uh, but it's just so much better. The cover system is so much better. There was a cover system in the first one, but it, was, it wasn't nearly as good as it is in Mass Effect.